Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. As you know, Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. How attractive do you think you seem to other people? Are you insecure about certain parts of yourself? Everyone has their own insecurities about themselves and may fear how it may come off for other people. But you never know, those very same qualities in yourself that you're insecure about are traits that some people may actually appreciate and find attractive. While there's certainly some truth in the saying, no one can know you better than you know yourself, when it comes to attractiveness, sometimes we just can't tell because we're so hard on ourselves. To help you with that, here are eight flaws that actually make you more attractive. Number one, you're shy. Do you speak in a soft voice, but prefer to keep quiet most of the time? Are you the type to duck your head or fidget when people look at you? While you may have a hard time believing this, there are actually a lot of people out there who find shyness an attractive trait to have. In a world where sociable, talkative, take charge types of people are all clamoring to be the center of attention, there may be something refreshing about being with someone who likes to listen more than they like to talk. After all, shy people are often seen as more mysterious, intriguing, and down to earth compared to others. Number two, you're clumsy. Another trait that some find surprisingly attractive is clumsiness. In fact, psychology says that men in particular tend to find clumsiness in women to be attractive, not only because it makes them seem more genuine, youthful, and excitable, but also because it makes them feel needed. Clumsiness also makes people feel compelled to approach you and to help you out when you're in a rut. Number three, you're easily embarrassed. Do you often get flustered when people tease you or get embarrassed when your friends poke fun at you for something? Do you tend to blush, squeal, or cover your face when this happens? While this may seem like a flaw to some people, being easily embarrassed is quite an attractive trait to others, especially to men. Similar to the previous point, people who are easily embarrassed seem more genuine because they don't try to hide their true feelings. Number four, you're nerdy. Those who get called nerds or geeks often get a bad reputation for loving something deeply. But what's so wrong with that? Whether it's comic books, anime, video games, Broadway musicals, or some other obscure interest not a lot of people can relate to. Being a nerd isn't something you should be ashamed of. In fact, there are some who find nerds attractive for the very same reasons they're criticized for. They're driven, excited, and most of all, passionate about the things they enjoy. Number five, you're too honest. Do you always say what you mean? To those who are tired of listening to everyone telling them what they want to hear, it can be nice to have someone who always tells the truth, no matter what. Being honest can be a very attractive trait because it means that you're not going to waste their time by beating around the bush or by playing mind games with them. Despite how difficult it may be, you are able to just come out and say what they need to hear. Number six, you're an oversharer. Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, I've been talking and sharing so much. Does this sound like you? Well, the good news is, one of the silver linings to being an overshare is that it makes you seem more sincere and approachable. While some may prefer mystery, there are those who like it when someone is an open book. This may be because your openness creates a comfortable environment for them to open up and to share things about themselves they don't usually share. It makes it easier for them to develop closeness and intimacy in a relationship. Number seven, you take things slow. Do you always take a long time making decisions because you tend to overthink things and focus on all the details? Do you always have a lot going on in your mind? You're probably a deep thinker and the type who likes to observe the situation before forming an opinion. Unlike those who are always craving excitement or chasing one thrill after the other in their lives, you appreciate and savor the peace and quiet in your life and prefer to take your time with things. And to people who feel the same way, this can be a very appealing quality to have. And number eight, you crave support. As humans, it's normal to crave affection from others. Though it's true that sometimes people who openly desire warmth, sympathy, and encouragement from others can be a bit off-putting at times, especially when they seem too needy or desperate. There is something nice about being with someone who makes you feel needed. Whether it's kind words, sweet gestures, 
thoughtful gifts, or simply time and attention. Having a partner who wants and asks for support can be a very attractive quality. Did you find any of these surprising or insightful? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.